welcome back. Well, decades ago, asbestos was everywhere from schools to homes to brake pads. Then we found out it caused cancer. So now we're pulling it out of the walls while wearing hazmat suits. Well, the World Health Organization calls asbestos a public health hazard. It's banned in more than 50 countries. But here's the disconnect. We still mine asbestos and we still sell it. Canada is the world's number two exporter behind Russia. It's an industry worth about 100 million bucks a year. Well, Quebec Premier Jean Charest is in India this week on a trade mission, and he's been singing the praises of Quebec's environmental record. But when asked about asbestos exports to India, he has no apologies. It's a position that's been denounced as hypocrisy. But hey, business is business, right? <laughs> Asbestos was slapped with heavy regulations in Canada back in the 80s after people who worked with the material started dying. Three weeks before his death, he was in such pain that he asked that I bring a knife into the hospital so that he could end his life. He could not stand the pain any longer. It was regulated in the U.S. through the 70s and banned in France in 97, Chile 2001. New Zealand 2002, South Africa in 2005, Brazil 2007, well you get the point. But developing countries like China and India are still happy to use it without hazmat suits. And asbestos related illnesses are already showing up. Once the documentation happens, India will break the Guinness Book of World Records for asbestos diseases. But the Canadian government continues to work hard for the asbestos industry, funneling about $20 million to the industry since the 80s. Our diplomatic core are selling asbestos with morals lower than a used car salesman. Canada turns a profit, and the developing world bears the cost. So why is India still importing a known carcinogen? Well. Coming out against the industry there can get you into trouble. Indian corporate lobby groups have threatened at least six people with legal action unless they retract their warnings about asbestos. Dr. Sanjay Chaturvedi is one of them. He is a professor of community medicine at the University College of Medicine, Medical Sciences in Delhi. We spoke to him briefly last hour, lost the connection. He joins me again now by phone. So uh, I, I want to pick up with our, our conversation. What, what was your basis of claim here? What were you telling people in India about the dangers of asbestos? Uh, in fact, I uh, did publish a paper, uh, and the methods that were used in the paper was a case study and the narrative analysis of the debate that was promoted by the um, asbestos industry uh, without any scientific facts or misrepresentation of scientific facts. And some of the highly reputed newspapers were doing those stories without any credit line from the um, industry. So the message was going to the people that um, these are the scientific facts supported by the newspaper. And what, what, and the what, were, industry, those, what were those stories saying? What were they were saying about asbestos? Uh, they were saying that there is a threshold to the um, carcinogenicity of the asbestos and um, the way asbestos is being released in India is absolutely safe for human health, which is far from the fact. And... Uh, um, the industry's opinion was enjoying reach and credibility of the popular press, some of the highly reputed newspapers in India. But is there just so a, I, I'm sorry, is there just a, a general lack of knowledge about asbestos in India? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, you have a point there. There's, there's a general lack of knowledge about asbestos in India. They Generally, people see it as a... A uh, cheap alternative to other material used in housing or um, relief um, um, material or um, such type of things, especially in the schools or cheap housing projects, etc. And people are not aware that even when the single fiber is inhaled, it can cause mesothelioma uh, in uh, a very long span of time ranging from 5 years to 20 years and no one would be able to prove that in the courts. So you, you, you raised some concerns about the health hazards of asbestos and you were served with legal papers. Why? Um, I received a legal notice from the lawyers of the Indian Asbestos uh, Cement Products Manufacturing Association 
and with the, uh, they have asked me to retract the article within 14 days, failing which their clients would be constrained to look for other options in the matter which may be unpleasant to me and unpleasant to their party. This is the language of the legal notice and they have uh, gone on to say that they may um, sue me for the damages and compensation. What, dam um, for what, which what damages have you caused? Um, means I have just narrated the scientific facts and the, um, the unopposed debate created by the asbestos industry in the popular public space. That was reported in 2008 and they, they have asked me to retract the article. Uh, otherwise, they will um, look for other options that may be unpleasant to me. But I mean, asbestos has been banned in, in 50 countries. It's not as like it's, you've just got one, your one man's opinion who's raising concerns about it. I mean, we've got a lot of concerns about it here in Canada where we're actually exporting it to you. Well, what do you think about Canada's position, the fact that, that we are exporting something that we don't even want in our own homes when we have it as insulation here where we take it out of our own homes? What do you think about the fact we're sending it over to you? Yeah, in fact, there's a gross disconnect in the, um, means, the, it should be the concern of Canadian establishment that when they are not releasing any more asbestos in their own environment, probably they should not um, allow any export of chrysotyl from cubic mines to other countries. Well, I guess the position here is saying that if you're, if you're, using, if you're uh, moving and using asbestos properly, that it shouldn't be a health hazard. But the images that we saw there uh, before our interview here showed people in India who, who were just wearing a, a handkerchief over their face, not wearing proper material there. Are, are, are there health hazards? Are, are we seeing right now that people are starting to come up with an increase in, the, in diseases like asbestosis? Um, in fact, no one can comment about that um, quantitatively because mesothelioma registry is not in place in India in most of the developing countries. Mm. So unless we have a mesothelioma registry in place, and uh, even after that it would be very difficult to prove that this has been occupationally caused or because of the non-occupational exposure to chrysotyl. But the point here is that there is a studied scientific opinion, globally emerging scientific opinion and established laboratory as well as epidemiological data clinching the evidence of the carcinogenicity of all forms of asbestos including the chrysotile. And um, there have been studied editorials in the reputed journals like Lancet, New England Journal of Medicine and WHO has come out with the specific guidelines, EPA guidelines are there, IERC guidelines are there. So the scientific evidence is extremely clinching about the carcinogenicity of all forms of asbestos. Doctor, good to talk to you tonight. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks a lot.